the press is corporate. The press reflects the interest of corporate advertisers. It is not trying to provide a neutral viewpoint. I find it very interesting, for example, what's not talked about. The fact that Iceland was a big news item for a long time, and then suddenly it disappeared. It disappeared not because nothing was happening in Iceland, but they were doing things that, and got away with doing things, like saying, forget it, we are not going to submit to the demands of the international financial system. We are going to create a new constitution from popular voice. We're going to democratize our systems. And then, suddenly, Iceland is not part of the news anymore. Well, it could have been interesting news for the Greeks or the Italians. So, what's not talked about is, in my view, at least as important <laughs> as what is being covered. How do you address this? I keep hoping that messages that are not the conventional messages can be heard. It hasn't been the case, typically. I'm fully aware of that. But we're all humans. Let's look at the big picture. Let's look at the possibilities that are created out of the box of a few vested interests that prefer the status quo. I claim that large-scale systemic change has not optional anymore. It's going to be an obligation. The only question is how, not the question is whether. And it's not even that much when. The when is now. There are hundreds of thousands of people who focus on the existing system who are claiming that, well, the, the, you know, uh, we need to save it in some way. And I'm not saying no. I'm just saying they're doing that. They're doing that better than I can. I'm focusing on what's new, on what's needed that's new. I'm focusing on building the new. I'm not trying to kill off the existing system. Unfortunately, it's doing that by itself. I'm not trying to criticize the existing system other than drawing the attention to systemic issues because that's not how we will build a new system that works for everybody.